Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Tassiger, the Golden Fang, and what happened to him and MTG Finance was also quite interesting to be honest with you. Uh, so this particular card, when I first came out, I felt like it was good, but people were comparing it to Tamagoyf. And now that comparison was just, for me at the time, I was like, nah, Tamagoyf is like a $200 card, this card is like $2.00. I don't see the comparison. Well, it turns out this card is actually extremely good and it can beat up a Tamagoyf and a lot of times it actually has the same size as a Tamagoyf but has upside. I don't exactly, I don't want to say I didn't know the card was going to be good because I did trade for a bunch of them including this pre-release foil. But I would never have expected him to rise. Like the foil pre-release is over 20 bucks right now. And if I knew that, I could have easily traded for probably two more. He was very common at my pre-release. Like I felt like everybody in the, what guild is this? Whatever the guild or the clan is, pretty much half the people got Tassigars. And the other half got like other stuff. Very good card in modern. So when you're speculating on a card, and let's say you don't want to speculate more on fetch lands because you're afraid of the end of card fetch lands will push the price down or hold the price for a long period of time, which it will, you can move on to cards that you know have eternal playability. How do we know that Tassigur is good in eternal? Well, he's being played in modern right now, so we know that. So when you look at Tassigur and you look at his price right now, it will dip down just like Snapcaster Maids. I want to compare Tassiger to Snapcaster Mage. And everyone knows Snapcaster Mage would keep going up and up in price. It's $50 now until it is either reprinted or banned or something bad happens to it. But it will continue to go up in price. Tassiger, same exact scenario. Yes, during rotation, Snapcaster Mage could have been had for $10 to $12. It fell in price because a lot of people in Standard were selling this extra Snapcaster Mages or even their playsets to a store and the store is trying to move them and then they you know most stores only really sell standard cards my store doesn't even have like extended or uh, it doesn't have any eternal formats in it it just has standard and draft and sealed sometimes so it's hard to move these cards and they are willing to take a discount and then not just the local store but the whole market is willing to take a discount because one of the things you have to know about the store about like a local store or any store an online store even um they have to they would if given a choice between making five dollars and doing you know five dollars 20 times or making possibly $100 one time, they always pick the $20, the uh, $5 20 times because that gives them cash flow. They can't just wait. So if they get very unlucky in these underground seas or whatever these cards are not selling, then they are, I mean, they're, they're, their investments or whatever, their money is locked up in a product that is not selling and therefore they're not making profit on the product as opposed to having a very liquid product which allows them to move faster. Tassiger will go down in price when it rotates, so I'll keep that in mind. He, he's not at his lowest point yet. His lowest point will be probably during rotation. However, I have absolute confidence outside of a banning or some weird case scenario, this card will hold its value. Uh, just like Abrupt Decay, just like Death Rise Shaman should have had it not been banned. And just like the Shocklands and Fetchlands. Um, but the Fetchlands have a slower growth because we know the Zendikar Fetchlands are coming back. And pretty much, you know, they do affect each other's price. Tasker, one of the safest cards in my opinion to put your money into right now. Or to trade into. Because it... It just reminds me so much of a Snapcaster or Abrupt Decay where it's already seeing lots of play in Modern. And there's no reason that people would stop playing it, right? In Modern, like it wouldn't make any sense. If it rotates out standard, it would have no effect of its playability in Modern. It's already strong enough.